Hello again and welcome back to English Today, your live TV programme where you can learn the English language. That last episode, huh, I'm sure Jack can manage to convince Sharon to go to Japan. What do you think? <laughs> we will see how that evolves. Now let's go back to the present perfect. Remember that we have learned so far that we use the present perfect with genie, just, ever, already, never, and yet. Well, I want to give you two more acronyms to help you understand when you use the present perfect. And the first one is this, flot. Now, you see at the top we have for. For is a time word. And we use for for a length of time. What's length? Length means a duration of time. So if you want to say 10 years, for example, you would say, I have lived in France for 10 years. For 10 years, a duration of time. Or, for example, five minutes. I have worked here for five minutes. Okay, so for we use for a length or a duration of time. That's flot, F-L-O-T, flot. Now, let's look at the second one, spot. Now, spot starts with the word since. Since is a word that we use when we're talking about an exact point of time. So, uh, let me give you an example. If I say five o'clock, that is an exact point of time. So, you could say, I have been here since five o'clock. Or for a year, you can say 1973, since 1973. So these two words are very important, for and since. Flot, spot. For for a length of time and since for a point of time. Now let's do a little exercise to help you with that. I will say something like two days. You must decide whether to use for or whether to use since. Okay? So, two days. Is it a length of time or a pointing time? Length, so for two days. I have been here for two days. Another example, Thursday. Thursday's a point of time, so since Thursday. Great. For a long time, a long time. Exactly, that is a duration, it's a length, so it's four, I gave you the answer. <laughs> Another one, December. Good, it's a point, so since December, very good. This one, uh, weeks. Very good, four weeks. Okay, fine, uh, let's think of another one. 2001. Okay, that's a point of time, so since 2000. And one. Those are some examples. Let's go to the screen now and I'll show them to you in a written form. That's that way you can memorize them and fix them. Okay? So, flot and spot. There we have it. For a length of time, flot. So, this is to express duration. The examples I have lived here, I've lived here for 10 years. Then, he's known her. For ages. Now, for ages means for a long time. Okay? Then we had spot, which is since, and we use it for a point of time. The examples, she's worked there since the 7th of June. Point of time, that's a date. And they've been here since 1978, a year. Okay, so flot and spot. Now, the interesting thing is that when we ask questions about that, we use the word how long. For example, how long have you been here? And we use the present perfect. Look at the screen. We say, how long 
have you lived in Cambridge? And the answer would be, I've lived in Cambridge for 10 years or since 2001. You see? Now, remember that how long is different to how many times. How many times is one, two, three, four, five. How long is a period of time? Okay? Another example. How long has he worked there? Answers. He's worked there for 10 years or he's worked there since 1973. All right? Now, just look at the examples we practiced. We have for two days, for ages, for weeks, for a long time, duration, then since Friday, since five o'clock, since 2001, since I was young, and since December. Great. Okay, so there we have it. We have genie, just, ever, already, never, yet. We have flot and spot, which is for and since. This is when we use the present perfect. Great. Now, let's go back and see if Jack has managed to convince Sharon to go to Japan. Okay, bye.